two weeks after Omicron forced Ontarians to again desert city streets with indoor dining closed and in-store shopping capped, the Premier Doug Ford is now eyeing plans to reopen. We can be confident that the worst is behind us. At the end of the month, restaurants, bars and gyms will welcome back crowds at half capacity. Oh, it's about time. We should open everything. With restrictions gradually easing till mid-March. I do worry, as do many of my colleagues, that it is a bit early. The Omicron wave hit central Canada's hospitals hardest and earliest. In Ontario and Quebec, admissions have for now stopped rising, but thousands of patients still need care. I understand that we are all tired, but lives are at stake. The peak seen here could be more than two weeks away further west. They have explicit, completely accurate, world-class modeling that tells them crystal clear that measures need to be put in place, otherwise this is going to be horrible. New modeling puts Saskatchewan on track to nearly double its record for hospitalizations by mid-February. While in Alberta, the Premier says infections may have finally peaked, but... We can reasonably expect to see uh, 1,500 or more uh, COVID patients in non-ICU beds um, when we reach the hospitalization peak. The province laying out plans to delay surgeries and move recovering patients to temporary COVID wards. That level of stress on the healthcare system, it, it's just asking for trouble. Hospitalizations here in Ontario rose fast. The hope is they'll fall just as quickly. Other provinces will be watching closely for any signs of how and when this wave finally breaks. Thomas Dagg, CBC News, Toronto.